What's up, ladies and gentlemen, transgenders? My name is John Vaughn. Forgot to spell my name. <laughs> um, I am actually the founder of Tier 5 and the creator of the software called Chirply, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So today, what, what I'm going to talk to you about today is we are going to go over the difference between what is called a sales bridge and the difference between the sales bridge and what's called an outbound IVR. So I'm going to go over the differences between these two mechanisms that will actually help you connect with your leads so much faster than what you probably already connecting with them right now. I'm going to give you examples of how I use these two things and when to use one versus the other. All right. So let's go ahead and jump in. And a few things that you just need to know here is that you're going to have leads and they are going to have their own phone number. You are going to have your sales team, which could be a whole team of people, or it could literally just be you. They're going to have their own phone numbers. And in the middle, you're going to have a Chirply phone number. Okay? So now I'm going to go over the difference between the sales bridge and the outbound IVR. So first we're going to go over the sales bridge and what's going to happen in the sales bridge. Okay? So whenever you get a lead come in, and your leads can come in through all sorts of ways. They can come in through an incoming text message. Any of these things can either trigger a sales bridge or they can trigger an outbound IVR. So they can come in from an incoming SMS. They can come in from a Facebook chatbot. They can come in from a Facebook lead ad. Or they can come in from some opt-in page. So you can get leads any of these ways. They can send you an incoming text message. That can trigger outbound IVR or your sales bridge. They can come into your Facebook chat bot. That can trigger your sales bridge or your outbound IVR. Or from a Facebook lead ad. If you don't know what those are, you should check them out. They're awesome. Or from your opt-in page. Any of these are the ways that you actually collect your leads. And you can either trigger an outbound IVR to connect with these people, or you can trigger a sales bridge to connect with these people. So we're going to go over the difference here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start here with this outbound IVR. So something is going to trigger this. Okay? And it can, again, be any of these things that trigger this. So what's going to happen is your Chirply phone number is essentially going to call your lead. It's going to call your lead's phone number. Your lead's going to get an incoming phone call, and they are going to essentially hear some initial audio. This audio can be recorded by a professional. You can record it yourself, however you want to do it. I like to personally record mine myself. And then you're literally going to give this lead some options to press some options. Now, in this options menu, you can essentially do whatever you want here. What I usually do here is I go through a qualification process to qualify my lead or disqualify my lead so that I'm only speaking with qualified people who have high intent to take me up on my offer. I don't want to waste time with people who aren't qualified for my offer. So I'm going to use the outbound IVR and I am going to use this to essentially qualify my lead. And if my lead presses, let's say, the right series of options, then what is going to happen is it is going to make a phone call to your sales team. And your sales team is going to get an incoming phone call. Then your sales team can hear some audio about why this lead is coming, what trigger caused this lead to, to happen, where is this lead coming from, all right? So from where is it coming? And then their contact info. And any dynamic info that you want to pass, let's say 
let's say they're calling, let's say you're a realtor and they're calling about a particular property and they have a particular budget or they're looking to move in X amount of months, you can pass all this dynamic information to your sales team so your sales team has all this information when they accept the call and now what's going to happen is your lead and your sales team are on a live phone call and they're doing their sales talk, okay? So I want you to notice in the outbound IVR, what happens is Chirply is first going to dial your lead. So it's gonna be your lead that gets the incoming phone call and your lead is going to go through an options menu and it can be a very easy options menu. It could literally just say, thank you for your interest, press one to talk to a realtor, they press one and Chirply connects with your sales team. Or you can go through a more in-depth, more elaborate pre-qualification process to pre-qualify your lead. And once they get pre-qualified, they're going to be connected then with your sales team. But I want you to keep in mind that in the outbound IVR, the lead gets automated call and the lead presses options. And then your sales team is connected. Okay, so that is the outbound IVR and that is how the outbound IVR works. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the sales bridge and how the sales bridge works and what's different with the sales bridge. Okay, so again, you're going to have a trigger. Something that actually triggers this sales bridge to happen. And then what's going to happen is Chirply is actually going to call your sales team. Okay? So Chirply is actually going to call your sales team. Now that sales team can be just you or that sales team can be a hundred people and Chirply is going to call them out and see, okay, who is going to answer this phone first and whoever picks up the phone first, that's who's going to be able to actually deal with your, your lead. So some trigger is going to happen. It could be any of these triggers. Chirply is then, once one of these triggers is going to happen, Chirply is then going to place an outbound phone call to your sales team, get somebody on your sales team connected. And again, it can tell them from where the lead is coming the leads contact info and any dynamic info any dynamic info that you want to pass all right and then your sales team is going to press an option press one to talk to the lead and then Chirply is going to then connect them with your lead okay and now they are on a live sales call together. Okay, so this is the sales bridge. I want you to notice in the sales bridge that your sales team gets the call, gets automated call. Your sales team gets automated call. They get dynamic info. Sales team presses some option. And then sales team is connected with your lead. Okay? So hopefully you can see the big difference between the sales bridge and the outbound IVR. In the outbound IVR, your lead is going to get the phone call first. Your lead is going to get an automated phone call. They're going to hear your voice. They're going to hear your messages. And they can go through some pre-qualification tree. And somehow through this process, if they press the right options, and again, remember, this can literally be as simple as hear audio, and then they press one, and that connects to your sales team. It can be that simple, or you can go in and you can make it as complex as you want. That really depends on what your pre-qualification process is and how you want to pre-qualify people. But in the outbound IVR, your lead is going to get the automated phone call. They're going to have to press some options themselves, and then it's going to connect with your sales team versus the sales bridge. Some trigger's going to happen, and 
Chirply is going to call your sales team. So your sales team is going to get the automated call. They're going to hear some dynamic information like where is this lead coming from? Did they come from your chat bot? Did they come from this particular Facebook lead ad? Did they come from opt-in page one or opt-in page two or opt-in page three? They're going to hear some dynamic information about the lead. What's that lead's name? Um, any specific information maybe they gave to your chat bot or they gave to your lead ad or they gave in the opt-in page. And then your sales team is going to press one and then your sales team is instantly going to get connected with the lead and have a live sales call. So those are the big differences between the outbound IVR and the sales bridge. Now, when should you use each one of these? Well, this is how I use them. On the outbound IVR, I use this for low ticket. Okay, if it is a low ticket item, I don't want to waste my sales team's time talking with everybody over here. The leads aren't necessarily pre-qualified, but they're not going to get automated phone calls. When the lead's phone rings, it's going to be a live agent speaking to them. That lead has no idea it was an automated phone call. Over here with the outbound IVR, that lead when they opt in or whatever trigger happens, that lead is going to get an automated phone call. It's an automation. They're hearing your voice pre-recording and they're going to have to do some stuff. They're going to have to press one, press two, however you set it up. And then if they're qualified, they can talk to your sales team. So on low ticket items, I will use this for low ticket items. Or if I need to pre-qualify, I'll use it if I need to pre-qualify. I will also use it for a scheduled, okay, I will use it for a scheduled call. To give you an example of the scheduled call, I'll have an IVR that will be like, hey, this is John Vaughn. We had a call scheduled today for this time. If you want to go ahead and have that call right now, go ahead and press one. We'll have the call. If you need to reschedule and have the call at a different time, go ahead and press two and we'll reschedule. If you're no longer interested in having a call, go ahead and press three and I'll go ahead and get you unsubscribed. So I use something like that for scheduled calls versus over here on the sales bridge, I am going to use this for high ticket sales, okay? If I'm selling something high ticket, if I'm selling a $3,000 program or a $5,000 program, when my lead comes in, I don't want my lead to get an automation. I want, my, I want to automate the process because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to manually do all this stuff, but I want my sales team to get information about this lead that's interested in this high ticket. I want my sales team to get the automation. I want my lead, when my lead answers the phone call, I want my lead not to know that there was any automation. I want my lead, as soon as they answer the phone call, I want them on a live call with a live person in a live scenario and not have any automation happen. I want all the automation to happen over here for my sales team. So hopefully this has given you the difference and make you understand what's the difference between an outbound IVR, what's the difference between the sales bridge, how each of them work, and when is a good time to actually implement an outbound IVR in your process, when is a good time to implement a sales bridge in your process. So if you wanna set either of these up, plus do all the other things that Chirply does, like two-way text messages, multimedia messages, ringless voicemails, autoresponders, follow-up campaigns, click-to-call widgets for your, for your website, IVRs, ringless voicemails, inbuilt lead generation, all of that stuff is what Chirply does. You can find out more at chirply.io. And if you would like to get started today for free, no risk, no credit card required, you can just head on over to free.geniuspages.io. And you can go ahead and get set up with a free Chirply account and a free Genius Pages account, no credit card required, completely risk-free. And you can actually begin to start to automate a lot of your follow-up process. You can begin to actually get in contact with your leads as soon as they opt in, as soon as you get in a lead, in less than 15 seconds, you can connect with your leads. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, just go ahead come over here to free.geniuspages.io and you can go ahead and get set up with a risk-free trial of Chirply software, no credit card required.
But now you know the difference between an outbound IVR and the difference between a sales bridge and when to use either one of them.